Disclaimer. I am not a doctor or psychiatrist. The purpose of this video is to share my own experiences with depression and to help other people make various lifestyle changes uh, to help deal with that. So let's get into the topic. I've dealt with depression for a long time. Uh, it's not something that is new to me. It's something that's always been really, well I say always been with me, but something that's always been with me throughout my late teenagehood onwards. Um, and it's it's something that I want to help you with because I've discovered as I've been through depression and uh, later on how that's kind of manifested into things like anxiety and OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder how I've dealt with some of these problems and I can tell you that one of the main things that, have, that that's helped me in terms of dealing with depression is taking action you're not taking enough action I'm not taking enough action let's say you, you, you can't just sit and do nothing or you can't just um, allow yourself to wallow in the depression. You have to take action. You have to do something that's going to um, get some sort of movement going. This is why, um, and I got this idea from this book I read on, on, on dealing with depression. Um, one, one exercise that's really helped me and exercise is very much the appropriate word for that. Is is running. Uh, a few years ago, when my when my depression was really bad, I I just took up running every every day, every pretty much every day. And 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 um, you know, some people might say, "Well, it's, you know, is it uh, is it too much? Is it going to be bad for your knees? Is it I don't know all these different like objections? The, the 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 mind will come up with all sorts of objections. But the fact is, is that like. That is that practice helped me immensely because it was not only good in terms of my physical health but in terms of my mental health there's something that happens with running it helps generate certain chemicals in the brain so it gets you uh, and of course it gets you outside gets you into nature um, I usually go running I went running last night uh, and there is a there is a super typhoon about to hit Hong Kong at the moment, so unfortunately I can't do it. There are certain um, very exceptional circumstances like the super typhoon in which I can't go running. But even if that's the case, I'll do what I did this morning and well, what I did earlier actually, and I'll do like a hit workout indoors, which is the next best thing. But for for me anyway, it's the best ne the next best thing. But it's usually usually and unless there's there's the, unless it's dangerous to go outside like it is now um it, it, it's a very good idea to go running or unless maybe you're ill or something like that but again these are exceptions you want to apart from the exceptions you want to make it a habit if you're going to be dealing with depression going running is one of the main things um it will just help you get outside it will help you get it some fresh air, um, preferably first thing in the morning if you can, or if not after maybe making a coffee or something like that. But you want to do it as early as you can in the morning. Another thing um, that will help you deal with depression is um, meditation. So the practice of meditation is really important because it's about focusing the mind onto the present moment and it helps you train your mind to not get lost in thoughts and destructive patterns, destructive thought patterns that are going to be cropping up for you throughout your day. Meditation is extremely important. Um, 
another another thing is diet so diet is extremely important now this one is still something I'm trying to figure out to be honest because um, there's so much contradictory information out there about what um, constitutes good nutrition what what makes for good nutrition what makes for a good diet but to be honest I mean I think that if there's any general rule of thumb it's the most natural diet that you can get for your as, as a human being um, and uh, also the diet that your body best responds to perhaps the diet for me is not necessarily the best diet for you maybe your body responds to certain foods differently from mine um, for me um, my body seems to respond extremely well to things like organic meat and uh, some fresh leafy green vegetables and I also um, I'm experimenting a little bit with, with, with carbohydrates at the moment things like rice and oats and things like whole 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 grains um, things like that but I'm, I'm also being careful with them as well because because I don't know they I can't say they they sort of like make me feel that great but um, that there's something I'm working on I, I'm not sure I'm just experimenting with again this is the thing I, I could be talking to you for ages about this but I want to keep it short um, basically you have to find a diet that's 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 good for you and your mind um, for me I know that organic meat and organic some organic vegetables are good for me and they make me feel good and that's why I f use them to sort of fuel my fuel my day and um, uh, and I also use yeah I also use things like uh, some carbohydrates at the moment some like rice and oats and so on wheat is if I, if, if I have too much of it, it will. I mean, I can only have a little bit, but it, it, I don't particularly respond too well to wheat. Um, I'm not really sure other people do either that well. So, generally, but if you do, that's fine for you. You know, it's it's about what you want. So, for, you know, pick what you want, choose what you want, choose what you need, not just what you want. You know, you could want some some food that, or be sold on some food that's that's that's. Uh, that you might that that you know that's full of uh, full of crap that someone tells you is good, but it's actually not, and it's actually going to damage your health. So try to focus on food that's good for you. So that's number three: it's nutrition. Number four: sleep. Try to go to sleep and try to wake up at a regular time. So get a consistent sleep. Um, try to get. I mean, for me. I need eight hours, seven to eight hours, um, as is the u per, per usual for a human being, um, according to most people. But of course, you know, maybe it's different for you. I don't know. Um, but the thing is, is to make it consistent, make sleep consistent thing, make it something that you're um, doing uh, regularly, uh, well, every night, of course. Um, but make it something that you uh, you put into your routine so that it, it's not just you're not just staying up for no reason like you, you know you've actually I mean one idea and it, it kind of annoyed me I'm, I'm still working on whether or not I want to keep this in my in my life but I tried it once was having a nighttime alarm as well as a waking up alarm because at least the nighttime alarm it kind of reminds you that oh it's time to go to bed um, but because um, sometimes my my days have been so scattered, it's been like I just forget. Like I, I don't. Forget, I, I just ignore the alarm. So the alarm didn't really work for me that well. Um, maybe it'll work for you. Um, of course, I have an alarm at the, waking up at the same time every morning. So try and do that. Um, so sleep is another thing. Yeah. 
And um, number five, I'd say have a sense of life purpose. Um, even if you don't know what your main purpose is in your life yet, um, just focus on exploring what that is and, and then also focus on doing work that is um, going to uh, fulfill you in some kind of way. If you're not doing a job that, that you, or you're not doing work that you really find is fulfilling, then it's it's not that great. Like you, you need to, you need something to put your energies into that you're going to provide value for people and contribute to the world in some kind of way that in, in some kind of way that's meaningful to you. And then be working on a skill, hopefully, every day that's going to help you towards that. Because a big thing about depression is motivation. You need to be motivated to do things. You need to be. Um, you, you, you need to have inspiration or motivation to get up in the morning and do all these things. You know, it's all well and good saying that you need to have a good night's sleep, saying that you need to go for a run, saying that you need to meditate, saying that you need to have a good diet. But if you don't have this one in place, and this, I'm, even though I'm using my pinky for this one, it, it's actually, I'd say that purpose is actually one of the first things you need. Because if you don't have a sense of purpose, a sense of drive in your life, then why are you doing any of this anyway? You know, and, he, and you might say, oh, well, George, I don't have a sense of purpose. I don't, I, I don't know what my life purpose is. Well, then just make it your life purpose to find out what your life purpose is. And then, and then you go from there. For me... The meaning of my life purpose is to inspire other people by sharing life's deepest wisdom. No matter what I do, no matter where I go in my life, no matter what different skills I'm trying to learn in my life, they're all kind of geared towards this meaning and once you have this meaning you can kind of find out from there which which skills put you into a flow state which ones get you going which ones help you explore that meaning in a in, in a deeper way because my meaning might be different from your meaning. It probably is different from your meaning, and and, and someone else's meaning is somewhat is different from someone else's. So you have to basically find out what it is that means the most to you. What do you value? What's important to you? Think about these kinds of questions when thinking about purpose, and then also don't think about purpose too much. Try things out. Try out different skills. Try out things that you're drawn to. Try out things that put you into a state of flow, a state of focus, uh, that allow you to be creative rather than reactive, that allow you to create things of value rather than constantly worry and go into anxiety or fall into depression or hopelessness. The only reason you would ever do that is because you don't have something that you're working on. You don't have a project, something exciting that's gonna get you up in the morning. If you have that thing that's exciting that's gonna get you up in the morning, then that is what is going to push you forward. That's what's gonna drive you on. So let's just summarize five things I talked about today. One, go for a run. Two, meditate. Three, have a good diet, four, sleep, 
five live your life purpose hope that helps see you next time